reason or another, kids all over the country are never quite sure if they'll be able to attend college. It could be for financial or emotional reasons, or there could be other factors standing between them and that level of education. For one Richmond area athlete, college was never a consideration until confidence came from a very unlikely source. Five, four, three, two, one. Hannah Smith does not know life without basketball. Landon could probably make it. For me, there really was no before basketball. I have a picture of myself on my dad's shoulder shooting a basket when I was a toddler. And that passion for the game was not dulled at all just because she had spina bifida and has never taken more than a few steps in her life. Hannah discovered wheelchair basketball at an early age and also discovered how it made her and other kids like her yeah! Let's go! feel less different in an able-bodied world. Especially in wheelchair basketball, there are so many people that are like you. I really treasure me. the feeling of being normal. Water! If you're not thirsty, you are. When a wheelchair basketball player looks at me, they see a basketball player who's maybe not as good as them, maybe better than them. But they don't see a wheelchair. Stop chair, stop chair. She was just full of spunk always showing up with a good attitude and full of energy and ready to go. Oh. Brandon Rush has been a basketball coach with Sportable for seven years and saw Hannah's very humble beginnings in the sport. To see where she was at when she started not being able to barely hit the net and to get into the point where she can actually make three pointers now um, has been mind blowing. Hannah will be a sophomore this fall at Wisconsin Whitewater, a school some 15 hours away from Richmond. She is studying elementary education, but that she is in college at all is a drastic change from what she thought possible for herself just a few years ago. I never even really knew I could go to college and live on my own. Comments, concerns, funny jokes. Her confidence in self-reliance no funny jokes. came from an unlikely place. While she loved basketball, she admittedly had no clue about NASCAR or the legends of the sport. I think I had heard of the Petty family. My dad always had the 43 Matchbox cars, so he would tell me about that. But no, I didn't. I didn't really know. You know, I've always joked about it and said all we really do is ride around in circles. Kyle Petty is the son of the legendary Richard Petty, the king of NASCAR. Kyle lost his son Adam to a racing accident at the age of 19. In Adam's honor. <laughs> Kyle established the Victory Junction Camp for kids with disabilities and chronic medical needs. To date, it has served nearly 100,000 children in ways that other camps cannot. Parents feel comfortable allowing a child to come to camp, uh, to fish, to go into the water park, uh, to ride horses for the first time. And that's the amazing part is to see these kids do things for the very first time at nine or 10 years old because they've never been in a camp situation are been allowed to do things like this. Victory Junction hosts around 5,000 kids each year. Hannah has been one of those kids on four different occasions, each trip teaching her a little more about herself and what she can do rather than what might be holding her back. Going to Victory Junction opened all the doors for me and convinced myself and my parents that I could be independent one day, I could live independently, and that I could go to college. It allows these kids to be the kids that they really are. It empowers these kids to use their imagination and dream about things that maybe before they came to camp, they were like, well, I, I could never do that. Go! It gave me so much confidence in myself and just knowing that I was able to do things that I never thought possible and my parents weren't even sure it was possible. It was amazing. And after one year away at school, Hannah cannot wait for that 15 hour ride. In the meantime, she's getting a head start on her future teaching career. Pick for each other, communicate. By coaching and mentoring younger kids who are getting their own start on not just basketball, but a more confident, independent life. For the kids that can't make shots right now, to see that she was in that same spot and to see how far she's come and continued to work and put in that hard work towards the game and the sport of wheelchair basketball 
and I wanted to show off more. Nice bounce stop. It shows them that they really can live life by themselves and they don't necessarily need as much support as they think. One, two, three, four! Hannah will be headed back to Wisconsin Whitewater in the next couple of weeks. Her first season was a learning experience for everyone. She plans to continue playing and coaching whenever she returns home. And if you or someone you know is interested in attending the Victory Junction camps in North Carolina, you can find them at victoryjunction.org and on all social media platforms.